Section 3. The Difficult Gallbladder and the Culture of Safety in Cholecystectomy. What does the culture of safety in cholecystectomy mean? It means putting safety first. It means using a reliable method of ductal identification, such as the critical view of safety. It means keeping the possibility of aberrant anatomy in mind at all times. It means recognizing when the dissection is approaching a zone of great danger and halting the dissection before entering the zone. It means getting help from another surgeon when things are difficult. And it means sometimes finishing the operation by a safe method other than a cholecystectomy. The culture of safety in cholecystectomy is similar to the culture of safety in aviation. A pilot does not fly through a bad storm if he can avoid it. When weather conditions are bad, the pilot flies over or around the bad weather. If this can't be done, the pilot lands at a secondary destination and continues the trip later. Biff is bad weather. Sometimes Biff is really bad weather. What if progress is not being made in the dissection in the so-called difficult gallbladder? The critical view of safety is harder to achieve than the infundibular view. This is part of the reason it is protective. If progress is not being made, halt or get help. This means that there is severe inflammation, aberrant anatomy, or other adverse conditions. The surgeon's mindset in cholecystectomy should always be safety first. Remember these three points. Cholelithiasis is a benign disease. There are good and safe ways of completing an intended cholecystectomy without removing the gallbladder. The harm of an iatrogenic injury exceeds the benefit of completing a cholecystectomy many, many times over. Again, what does the culture of safety in cholecystectomy mean? It means putting safety first. It means using a reliable method. It means keeping the possibility of aberrant anatomy in mind. It means recognizing when approaching a zone of great danger and halting the dissection at an appropriate time. It means getting help when things are difficult. And it means sometimes finishing the operation by a method other than cholecystectomy. What are the signs that BIF might be present in elective cholecystectomy? They are a thick, gallbladder wall on ultrasound, firm adherence of the gallbladder to omentum, to duodenum, to colon, or to stomach. The liver is pulled down around a shrunken gallbladder, or one can't find the gallbladder. Th points three and four are particularly ominous signs and indicate that there's a lot of severe chronic inflammation. What are the signs that BIF might be present in acute cholecystitis? They are a tender right upper quadrant mass, a white blood cell count higher than 18,000 cells per cubic millimeter, and duration of symptoms greater than 72 hours. Under these conditions, unless one is a very experienced, minimally invasive surgeon, it's better to operate three months later and treat the acute problem with antibiotics and percutaneous gallbladder drainage if necessary. If you're flying around on an airplane, that's the same as flying around the storm. What if progress is not being made in the difficult cholecystectomy? Do one or more of the following five things. Do a cholangiogram if there's a structure that is likely to be the cystic duct. Get help from a colleague. Convert to an open procedure and continue the dissection. Four, do a laparoscopic or open cholecystostomy or partial cholecystectomy. Finally, if inflammation is severe, especially if the gallbladder is shrunken and contracted, discontinue the procedure and refer to a highly experienced HPB or minimally invasive surgeon. Do not do a fundus down cholecystectomy 
when hepatocystic triangle is too inflamed to dissect either laparoscopically or open. The fundus down technique is an error trap under these conditions. Partial cholecystectomy. Biff hates this operation. However, this operation is one of the best options when the dissection is difficult and the critical view cannot be obtained. It usually requires conversion to an open procedure. It is usually as effective as cholecystectomy in curing the patient, and it's very safe if done properly. What are the steps in performing a partial cholecystectomy? They are as follows. Excise the front wall of the gallbladder using electrosurgery. Remove the stones from the gallbladder lumen. The mucosa may be ablated using electrosurgery at a safe low setting or by using saline linked surface RF ablation. Drain with a suction drain. It is okay to close the cystic duct from the inside, but it is not essential. Again, what if the gallbladder cannot be seen or found? This almost always means that the gallbladder is shrunken due to severe chronic inflammation and that surrounding organs such as the colon, duodenum, and omentum will be tightly adherent. This is an uncommon but very dangerous situation, which means that there's a lot of biliary inflammatory fusion. The worst vascular biliary injuries have occurred in this situation when surgeons have converted to an open procedure and tried to remove a severely inflamed gallbladder using the fundus down technique. The proper culture in this situation is to discontinue the operation without performing an open operation and refer the patient to a high volume biliary center. Making an open incision will make the subsequent surgery even more difficult. 